Let's go watch it in 2D. No, let's go watch it in 3D. But if we watch it in 3D, then is it worth the cost? Our planet will perish. Hang on, kid! And so will we. Unless we set Godzilla free. This time we join him. That's messed up. Good thing he's on our side. Beautiful. Here we go. This is Godzilla's world. We just live in it. Damn right. Rated PG-13. Hello, hello, hello. This is Adolf, and I have with me Jake. Greetings. And today we're doing the spoiler-free review of Godzilla King of the Monsters 2019, right? Is there original Godzilla King of the Monsters? Uh, unreleased, but it exists. That's why I always put the 2019 to differentiate. So, as always, uh, we'll talk about the 3D element first. I did not watch this in 3D, so Jake, well, how was the 3D? Uh, this is one of the most disappointing 3D releases in a long time. I mean, I'm talking like uh, Clash of the Titans disappointment. It was, uh, it was dark. Everything looked flat. <sighs> Hey, and the, the almost all the night scenes, which was majority of this movie, uh, was filmed during rain. Uh, rain is a nice effect in 3D. Uh, they didn't bother. Uh, the only scenes that there was any 3D at all you could really see were like the close-ups of uh, of people. This is a kaiju uh, movie. Why do I want to see Billy Bobby Brown's nose? up close and personal 40 feet high when there is a godzilla i want to see godzilla big and but i was just really disappointed with the 3d so since i watched it in 2d i was thinking about it when i was watching it and i was thinking okay you know yeah the cutter palette here is not pretty first of all um it's not like bright a lot of dark scenes like you said but um I was really worried about something you did not mention in your review, um, which was the written review, which is on the website now, um, that the camera angles get really weird. And there's a lot of quick cuts and a lot of shaky cam. And um, did you notice that? Was it just me? No, because it made some of the action hard to follow, like trying to remember who was where and in what vehicle. So, yeah, the, the camera jerking around and the cam and the you know the zoomed in shots and um like i remember one shot of, of people talking and it was like super zoomed into his face and i was like i don't why do i need to have it that zoomed in and i was really worried about the 3d was like okay i don't think this is going to be very good just because of these weird camera shots was i right to assume that well i've seen movies filmed this way that conversions uh were able to pull out some good 3d but uh this company uh, didn't manage to pull out any miracles. Uh, I mean, I felt like I was watching a German conversion. I guess that means a bad thing? <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, if you've seen some of the, uh, you know, stri- you know the, the, convers- the 3D conversions done for the German market, they're pretty bad sometimes. Uh, then every once in a while, you get a good, really good one like Sharknado. But uh, I think my uh, old LG TV 3D uh, conversion mode would have probably done a better job. And when this comes out on disc, I'll check. It. I'll I'll test that theory. If we could find it on disc. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and so see this on the biggest screen you can to skip the 3D. So I guess that's a rating of a weak 3D 2D recommended. Am I right? Yep. Exactly. All right, let's get to the movie itself. Um, so, Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Um, you say that it's the best Americanized Godzilla movie yet. Um, mm-hmm. Exactly. 
Oh, and I should clarify, I don't consider Skull Island a kaiju movie. So, the basic plot about this movie is a little bit hard to really talk about. Basically, there's a whole lot of family drama, and I don't think this family was in the first one. Oh. Um, it's a way to try to, you know, talk to the audience and have a, a human, you know, explain what's going on, and a lot of babble, and blah, blah, blah. Who cares? And no one really goes to the gods of the movies to see about the human drama, right? Exactly. Uh uh, the 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 first era of Godzilla movies, uh, the Showa, uh, traditionally uh, Godzilla wouldn't show up for the first act or two, and the scientists, uh, they would have their drama. You normally wouldn't have uh, a fa- a family straight out of a Jurassic Park movie. Uh, yeah, they th- they just they that whole story plot they shouldn't have even been in the movie uh it really slowed the movie down um i mean but like i always say neth if if roland emmerich couldn't kill godzilla nothing will kill godzilla and this plot line does not kill this movie i mean it tries but it doesn't succeed so the main plot here is about environmentalism and uh terrorism which is kind of a weird thing for a subject matter it would make Thanos proud, <laughs> to say it nicely. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, Godzilla movies are tradition. These are traditional subplots in Godzilla movies. So this, like I said, this is the most of all the American uh, Godzilla movies. This is the closest to uh, a Japanese faithful. In fact, it remind me a, a whole lot of what the, the second era of the uh, Godzilla movies. Uh, the Heishi, uh from the 80s. You know, they're the ones where Godzilla shows up on the first act. Uh, he's got lots of screen time and um, and the sci- and the scientists. There's not too much uh, family drama. It's more the scientists and the military. And they got the great character designs. And you know, going back to this one, you know, it's fun. Ultimately, you go to a Godzilla movie because you want to see the action, and there's tons of it here. And I thought it was a lot of fun. I liked it. What do you give the whole score for the movie? Uh, seven out of ten. And I agree with you. I, I I had fun. I had a lot of fun with this. And, mm-hmm. um, you know, the bad camera angles and, you know, the family drama that you don't care about don't are, are enough to kind of tear it down a little bit. But it's not – you can still have some fun here. It's fun to watch these fights. Mm-hmm. And there's hundreds of Easter eggs in this movie. Uh, if you blink, you're going to miss one. Like I said in my review, there's so many Easter eggs in this Godzilla movie. I thought we were going to get a 60-foot uh, Bugs Bunny stomping around. Hey, it's a Warner Brothers movie. <laughs> All right. Well, that's going to be it for this podcast. Bye. Bye. All right, before this podcast ends, I want to give a thank you to my patrons. Right now, we have a one patron, which is David from Spain, and I want to thank you for your financial support. All right, so that's going to be it for this podcast. We now have a Patreon, and the link is in the description. Uh, thanks for watching. And we are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. They don't put it everywhere. Just look for us, 3D or 2D. And of course, review us on iTunes. And if you want to write us a letter, um, our email address is email 3 d or 2 d at gmail.com. So that's going to be it. Uh, thanks for listening. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone.